Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. We are continuing JavaScript for testers and today we're doing logical operators. So we are in module five and next we're gonna go into conditional statements. Okay, so logical operators. In JavaScript, logical operators help make decisions based on variables or values. They're often used in situations where you need to check conditions. The main logical operators are and, so two ampersands is the logical AND operator. It is used to check whether two conditions are both true at the same time. If both conditions are true, the result is true. Otherwise, it is false. For example, you need both a pencil and paper to draw. If you have both items, you can draw. Thus, it is true. If you don't have one of the item or you don't have two of the item, every time for that, it will be false. Next one is OR. So two pipes is the logical OR operator. It is used to check if at least one of two conditions is true. If either condition is true, the result is true. If both are false, the result is false. For example, you can go and play if it is Saturday or if it is Sunday. If today is either one, you can play. If it's any other day of the week, so let's say Friday and Thursday, you can't. But if it's say Friday and Saturday, so one of them is true, you can, okay? The last one is not. Exclamation mark is the logical not operator. It is used to reverse the Boolean value of a condition. If the condition is true, the logical not operator will make it false and vice versa. Example, you can stay up late if you are not sleepy. If you are sleepy, you need to go to bed, all right? So let's go ahead and put those examples in code. Okay, so let's code out our logical operators. I'm gonna start with creating a new file, five dot uh, logical underscore operators dot js. Okay, so um, we're gonna start with and, and operator first. Uh, so we use two ampersands for that, so shift seven. And uh, let's declare some variables that will hold true or false values. So let's start with let has underscore pencil and make it true. So this value will store true for pencil. And let's start with let has, has underscore paper as true. Okay, so in order to demonstrate uh, end operator, we're gonna use if we're going to talk about if more in upcoming video, but you want to understand that if is essentially a control flow statement. And it's used to decide whether a block of code should be executed or not. So we will start with our if condition. So start typing if. And then within the parentheses, uh, you want to provide um, the logic where you decide if it's going to move into the code execution or not. So here we will say, um, has pencil, and then we're going to use our logical operator, and has uh, paper. And after our condition, we want to open curly braces, and within the curly braces, we'll have the logic that is being executed. So we'll say console.log, um, I have paper and pencil, so I can draw. Now, um, I recommend that you pause the video and you type things out as well, uh, because it's very important to practice, otherwise it's gonna be really hard to learn, right? So if we're gonna go ahead and execute this, so we'll say node five and press tab for the full file name and execute it. And we see that our text is being printed out in the terminal. So I have paper and pencil so I can draw because both of the conditions are true. So for the end operator to work, both of the conditions have to be true. If they're true, this whole thing is equal to true. And that's why it goes further and executes this console command within the curly braces. Now, if I will say that I don't have a paper, for example, so that's gonna be false and run it, we see nothing comes back. Okay, so nothing is being executed. Uh, now let's go and see or operator. Uh, so I'm gonna highlight the whole section. I'm gonna press control forward slash to comment at all. 
Uh, now let uh, type or operator. So or operator, and this is two pipes, right? So shift uh, backslash, and you'll get your pipe, right? Okay, uh, we're gonna say let is underscore uh, Saturday equals to uh, true, and then let's say let is underscore Sunday is equal to true. And we will do an if statement again. So if is Saturday or is Sunday, and we're gonna print out, oh, and we're gonna print out uh, console.log, we can go outside and play, something like that, because it's a weekend, right? It's day off. Uh, instead of or, so we put in pipe, two pipes here. And let's see if that runs. Okay, so we can go outside and play. So if both are true, or one of them is true, this will execute. Let's say if both of them, so let's say one is false here, right? Still executes, because one being true is enough for or operator to actually move forward and execute the logic. But let's say we'll say both are false and try to run it, and we see nothing comes back. Okay, so for or, it's enough for just one of the conditions uh, to be true. For and, you have to have both to be true. Okay, let's clear the console. Uh, so the next one, we're going to go and do not. Not operator, and that's an exclamation mark. So for example, let's say let is um, sleepy. So you want to sleep, and that is false. You don't want to sleep. Um, and then we're going to add logic if is sleepy, right? Um, let's say console.log. I want to sleep. Okay. So if we will execute this, you see it's not printing out because is sleepy is false. Now we're going to add uh, not operator. So th this false is going to be canceled out and will become true if we will uh, put exclamation mark here. So now you can read it at if not is sleepy. So essentially it turns this false into true. And now if I run this code, it actually prints it out. Okay, now let's do something completely crazy, but let's kind of put together all three of them in one if uh, condition, right? I'm gonna maybe just comment out this part. I'm gonna comment out this part and I'm gonna comment out this part. So I'm just gonna leave out the variables available for us so we can use them. So let's have a long if block uh, that checks multiple conditions here. So let's say if, um, and here we'll have one condition being checked. So I, I have a pencil and I have paper uh, and then let's say and one more time and then here we will put uh, in parentheses another condition. Uh, it is Saturday, so is Saturday, or is uh, Sunday, right? And let's put another um, check over here, and I am not uh, sleepy, right? So this defaults to uh, true, because both of those are true, and we use an and, so this has become true. It's Saturday or Sunday, even though one is false, Sunday is false, Saturday is still true. Uh, so this also defaults to true. And the last one, even though sleepy here is false, is sleepy was not, it also becomes true. So false turns into true. So this true, and this true, and this true. All of three are true. And as a result, we have a total amount of true 
uh, within the parentheses for this if. Now, in a curly braces, let's say something like uh, console.log. Uh, I have paper and pen. It is weekend. Uh, weekend. And I am not sleepy. So I can, can draw all day. Something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, execute this. And you can see it is working. It's all uh, defaulted for true. Now, because we have multiple ands here, so this has to be true, this has to be true, this has to be true. Uh, if I, let's say, change one of the conditions and then it becomes false. So for example, I am actually sleepy, right? So this true and this true and this false, we are still using and. So one false still becomes the whole block here becomes false so i try to execute it now nothing comes back uh, same thing here so let's say it's not saturday and it's not sunday so borrows are false and so this becomes false even though this is true and this is true totality of all those uh, conditions here is false now i run it again and you can see nothing is executed um, Let's update to one of them to be true. Clear out the console. So now we have Saturday's true. Run it again and it prints out. And now let's say I don't have a pencil. So pencil becomes false. I don't have nothing to draw with. Again, I try to run it one more time and nothing is executed. All right. Um, so hopefully this gives you some practice and some idea of the uh, logical operators and how they work. Now, as a QA engineer, you will be using logical operators a lot in your testing. When you will be comparing values, uh, you will be expecting like a certain uh, outcome. If something has to be true or false, you will be verifying that. So those operators are quite useful in the, your logic when you will be testing. So get familiar with them. Uh, type them out, practice. Uh, this is it for this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. This was Alex USA Days. Leave a like and subscribe if you like the video. And bye-bye.